Hello. Welcome, everyone, again. It's great to see such a full room here. Uh, this is where we get into our mini Oscar or Emmy presentation type part of the program, a little bit of something different. My name is Laura Blyle. I'm the Director of External Engagement here at the University of Illinois Research Park. If there's one thing that you can take away from today's events, it's that, of course, yes, Champaign-Urbana is the epicenter of ag tech, and also that the University of Illinois Research Park is a hub for industry partnerships, as, as well as the rest of our campus, which is very adept at working with industry across our region, across our state, across the globe, frankly, uh, to find uh, win-wins, as we like to call them. So ways that we can partner together uh, to advance different aspects of our organizations. And I think that this prize that we have right now is emblematic of those associations that we've developed. So we were very pleased three years ago when our friends from Brandt approached us about adding another, a second award. We'll have our the OG award later but our second award to our program. And this award is an, is an honor and memory of an, a unique innovator, and I'll let Carl talk about that innovator in one moment, but um, this is our third year of the Glenn G.B. Brandt Prize for Ag Entrepreneurism. Uh, you will hear later for, from last year's winner, um, but it is really an honor that we have uh, that we partner with Brandt to give out this award. Um, this award exemplifies an entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, it goes to a grower or producer that um, exemplifies an entrepreneurial spirit and advances innovation through their business practices, crop growing processes, or product usage. It's my honor to introduce Carl Barnhart, the Chief Marketing Officer for, of Brandt, who will tell us about the prize, It's how it got initiated as well as introduced this year's winner. So thank you, Carl. You just scared me a little bit there with the award. I don't, I don't want to be slapped by anybody. So we're just going to give some money away and uh, we're going to do some good things today. So thank you for having us um, on behalf of the Brandt Foundation and the 800 members of the Brandt family around the world. We are so pleased to recognize a grower who has done something innovative in this space. This is the third year that we've been doing this. We've, we've given out two awards to beer companies. Gotta love that. This year we get, to, uh, we get to go back into the production ag space, which we're very excited about. So this, this award honors Brandt's founder, Glenn G.B. Brandt. He died in 2020 at the age of 92, and he was one of the world's great entrepreneurs. Not only did he found Brandt, he founded a nitrogen company, a drainage company, a tank company, and he was involved in a whole bunch of other businesses. He made some mistakes along the way, there's a reason that we're not into grain marketing. There's a reason we're not in propane. There's a reason we're not into used cars anymore because those things didn't work out. But that's, that's what an entrepreneur does. An entrepreneur makes calculated risks and thinks about things in different ways. And the, the person that we have to honor today certainly does that for us. As my dad used to tell me, Farmers are the world's great innovators. They'll tinker with anything to try to make it just a little bit better. And so today we get to honor Eric Miller. Eric Miller, he's, uh, he's one of these guys that my dad would really have admired because he's a tinkerer, he's a thinker, and he's an innovator. I want to read, there was just, there was just something great about this, this uh, little phrase that his nominator put into his, uh, into his nomination form. He called Eric a dedicated crop production improvement specialist, which I thought was, I thought was really cool. And then I had to keep reading and go, what, you know, what does that mean? So what Eric is doing on his 400 acres in Platte County is he's working to develop sustainable intensification strategies that look to simultaneously improve yield, environmental, and economic outcomes. If you put all of those things together, this guy is really thinking about the future of production ag. And that's 
really what drives us at Brandt every single day, is how can we improve production ag. So, Eric, congratulations. Come on up and get your big fat check. So there's officially a introverted farmer at the mic. So this thing could spiral out of control. Uh, if, if I hear the lunch bell ring, I will quit talking. When somebody gives you a large check, physically large check, for a moment in time, you may think, uh, hey, I'm kind of a big deal. So I've got a story for you, uh, kind of bring me back down to earth. Uh, I was here at the I Hotel uh, just four weeks ago, and uh, I was attending the uh, Illinois NRAC event. Uh, NRAC is the Nutrient Research and Education Council here uh, in Illinois, and they uh, are a large funder of research work uh, that we do on my 400-acre farm in Pia County. And uh, I checked in before the event, and I was at the you know next to the registration table, and uh, more and more people were filing in. And uh, I was uh, standing next to a, a person I knew, Michael Douglas, a field tech, and we were talking, and people were coming in. And you know, a person said to me, oh, hey, hey Eric, you know, as they were uh, getting registered for the event. Another person you know, came over, oh, good morning, Eric. Uh, another person came over and said, hey, Eric, I want to talk to you yet today before you leave. To the point where Michael Douglas, the guy next to me, said, hey, you're kind of a big deal around here. And when somebody tells you you're a big deal, your head instinctively goes up and down. And I thought, yeah, I am kind of a big deal around here. And then, you know, usually when you're that high, what's going to happen next? So um, not more than a minute later, a person is approaching. They were going to register. I knew this person. He'd been out at my farm. I'd had breakfast with him. But, you know, he, he was, you know, getting ready to register. Uh, he, you know, saw me, made eye contact with me, put his hand in the air and waved and said, Good morning, Eric. Or, excuse me, oh, no, I, I killed my punchline. Good, good morning, Kevin. So he called me Kevin. Oh, I, I couldn't believe it. So that, that burst my bubble. <laughs> so if at any point I get, uh, I get out of line today and uh, I'm walking around with my chest uh, puffed out, just say, hi, Kevin, and that'll bring me back down. I have to talk about Brandt uh, today. So they are sponsoring this award. Uh, very generous. Um, if you would have asked me in December, you know, it, tell me about Brandt, I would have said, well, they're a, you know, a company, ag service company that was, you know, founded in, in Springfield, Illinois, in central Illinois. Uh, I knew that they had kind of gotten a global scale, uh, well respected within the industry. And then, lo and behold, uh, in January of this year, I, I got a magazine, a print publication. Us farmers still get print publications. It was Prairie Farmer, and Prairie Farmer is an Illinois publication. And in there was an article about one of the uh, founders of Brandt. So we've talked about Glenn. Uh, well, back in 1953, which I guess is 70 years ago, so congratulations to Brandt on 70 years, Glenn founded uh, Brandt with his sister, uh, Evelyn. And lo and behold, Evelyn uh, Brandt Thomas is 99 and divine. So there was an article on her. So she is still uh, involved in the company today. And there, she, she has some very interesting comments uh, that, I, that I would like to read from that. So, uh, you know, again, they're interviewing her and they're asking her a lot of questions. And she talked about, uh, you know, her uh, relationship with her brother. And she said, we both had our strength. Glenn could sell anything, and I held the purse strings. I held them quite tight, too. They... Um, also asked her, you know, kind of some rapid-fire questions. 
uh, as well, and I thought some of her answers were, were very interesting. They asked her what it was like to be a woman in ag in the 1950s. Well, I was a Lone Ranger. There weren't many women involved in business when I started, and there were even fewer who owned their own company. They asked her about her uh, role today at Brandt. Uh, she really sounds like she's very involved in the philanthropic uh, endeavor of the company. So, you know, I obviously am benefiting from that, so I appreciate that. Uh, then they asked her a series of kind of rapid-fire questions uh, that I thought were pretty good. How to live a long life, she said, work until you're 99. <laughs> What's your favorite vehicle? My personal 500 horsepower Camaro. <laughs> Read legal, she says. It's, and it's going to get better. What's your guilty pleasure? Giving the middle finger. <laughs> and then she concludes, uh, drink, question mark, vodka. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, am I proud to accept an award from a company that was founded by a hardworking, self-made wealthy, generous, 500 horsepower Camaro driving, middle finger waving, vodka drinking, badass? Yeah, I am. So, so thank you, Brad. And, and thank you, Evelyn, as well. And thanks you know, to all the folks at Brandt. I've got to uh, thank a few people today. Uh, they are uh, over in the crowd uh, seated, seated with me. So uh, Dr. Emerson Mafsinger was aware of this award, and he sent a nice uh, one-sentence email to Dan Schaefer, who officially nominated me. And it was basically, Eric would be perfect for this award. So that means a lot coming from doc Dr. Nafsinger. Most of us know who he is, so, so thank you, Emerson. Uh, thank you, Dan Schaefer, uh, for officially nominating me. Dan is with the Illinois Fertilizer and Chemical Association. Uh, he's been, uh, he's their Nutrient Stewardship Director. He's been doing that for probably about 10 years. Uh, and before that, he was in Ag Retail uh, with the Line IFS. Dan is the one that knows the people, knows the contacts, has the resources that makes all of our uh, field research uh, work. Uh, the next person I would like to thank is Lowell Gentry. He is the, you know, PI, the principal investigator at our site. He has been there since day one. He started with an idea and a concept. He has continued to build on that over the years to the point where we've probably had a dozen folks from the University of Illinois do research at our farm. So I can't begin to, to tell about all the stuff that we do out there, but if those two could stand up, please, Dan and Lowell. They'll be around today, so you can certainly uh, ask them questions. I've got to thank my sister. I, boy, this is uh, getting like the Oscar ceremony here, isn't it? I need to thank my sister. She is a co-owner on our 400-acre farm in Piatt County, and she has been allowing this nonsense to go on since uh, 2014 when, when those two showed up. And getting back to those two for a second, uh, you need to be very careful when you invite somebody you know, into your home or into your farm. Um, I thought we were just gonna work on one simple little research project and, and here we are uh, seven or eight years later and it's continuing to the point where I've actually looked at the squatter rights laws in Illinois and it's 20 years but it's shortened to seven years if they pay the property taxes. So if they start paying property taxes, uh, I need to be cautious. Um, so I thank my, my sister. I would also like to uh, just acknowledge my parents. Uh, life is much better when you can call your role models mom and dad. So thanks to them. Um, and lastly, what am I going to do with $10,000? Um, I looked at the, our two previous uh, winners. Uh, 
I know Will Glazik. They, uh, they actually produce their organic farm, regenerative, but they also uh, produce vodka, which Evelyn would like. Um, last year's winner was uh, Matt Riggs, you know, from Riggs Beer Company. Uh, so I guess one option is I probably need to go out and buy a still tomorrow and start making bourbon, maybe? But, you know, as these things sometimes work out well in life, uh, it just so happened the week uh, before I found out I was the winner of the, of the prize today, uh, we entered into an agreement to uh, build some uh, facilities uh, at our farm. Uh, we have been land rich, and we have been machinery rich, and we have been people rich, but we are not physical uh, facilities rich. So there has never been a building project in the history of the world that has come in at or under budget, so that extra money is appreciated. But I think I'm going to get together with Carl and see if we can't do a very specific project that will honor Glenn uh, for this award today. So with that, keeping with our uh, Oscars theme, it's selfie time. <laughs> Do you remember when Ellen uh, DeGeneres did that? So I, I'm never going to get to speak in front of 200 people again, so I'm going to take some selfies, so start smiling, people. <laughs> Thank you.